Okay, welcome back to the bench. I figured you guys don't need to see me every time I make a video. Uh, what we have here today is a Hitachi KS1700H. It's a 1968 vintage 17 transistor AM FM stereo. Okay, you don't see any speakers. Well, that's because the speakers are back here. And the speakers actually... Yeah, get my fat hands out of the way. Open up. You got your stereo. Awesome. Okay. Um, the speakers also detach, so you can move them apart. And I think that would be pretty awkward to do unless you were stationary someplace. Okay. Um... I've had this radio, I bought it on eBay back in 2018. Uh, this is the second one I've owned. Uh, the first one, I don't know, just got tired of it and, and sold it. Then decided I wanted another one. So it's been sitting in a tub with other projects since 2018, and I've decided to start working on it. Uh, I do have three of the... Uh, silver plates with the nomenclature on it. This is the off button AM FM AFC and FM stereo. So I've got these three. Okay. These three over here, I have the off button. I don't. So I'm going to have to make something for that. Uh, again, I haven't opened this up. Uh, even the day I bought it, I haven't opened it up. I just packed it away because I didn't have time to work on it. So what's, what's interesting, it does do external power. Um, it also takes four um, C batteries. And you've got a tuner output, a right and a left. So it's interesting, this little radio has got quite a bit. I'm going to open this up. Again, I haven't. Get some light in here. Very interesting. There's actually two boards here, one on top of the other. So I'm praying, <laughs> praying uh, that this radio works because it's not a simple uh, single board. It's, it's multiple boards layered on top of each other. Plus, come on, open up. Okay. Each speaker has a little amplifier board in it. So it can be pretty involved if there's something wrong. So I'm going to put some batteries in it and turn it around and start it up and, and see what we get. Okay, batteries are in, ready for a first power up. Just the volume knob is not smooth, it's very tight. It's probably all gummed up. And as such with the tone control, happy that the dial cord is not broken. So don't pay attention, the police radio in the back. Uh, it's the fire radio working. Okay, so we look like we're okay. Let's try the AM band, see what we get. Nothing. Getting a little hiss from the speaker. <laughs> okay. So we're getting a little bit of working here. 
I think this is going to need, before I do any testing on it, I'm going to have to, have to, have to. fun not to hide our feelings therapy has benefited me so much and so we're gonna have to comes to finding my true self clean controls considering beginning therapy consider using better help that's the volume all the way down accommodating to your schedule convenient and adaptable i only have certified therapist simply complete a quick questionnaire sound coming out of the the speaker over here the mass with better help visit betterhelp.com slash peter today to get 10 percent off your first month that's nothing coming out over here slash peter now, again, I don't know a lot about the radio. I don't have an owner's manual on it. I don't know if it is in, if it's supposed to come out when you're in the AM mode. So let's check FM. Whoo, dead quiet. That's not good. Now I'll put the antenna up a little bit. Hey. Get a little bit of hiss. Getting some stations in the background. I think the main thing I'm going to have to do now is do some cleaning on the controls um, before I do much of anything else. I will... Again, the volume is all the way up on FM, and I'm not getting anything. Very, very light in the background. But it sounds like the front end is working on the radio. So it's very possible it's the controls. Now, there's, there's dual tone controls, and dual, this pot and this pot are both dual controls. Okay? And again, AM... And even on FM, I don't hear any hiss coming out of this second speaker, this speaker over here. So, first thing I'm going to have to do is work on cleaning the controls. And what am I going to use? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Here's where we start the controversy. Deoxid D5. Deoxid F5. Now, this, these are just switches. In other words, you've got a switch that rides up and down on a, on a bar, okay? I'm going to use deoxid for that. On the rotary controls that are uh, composite, it tells you right on here, it says for pots and controls, Okay. Uh, cleans, lubricates, and protects, and it's basically made for this type of a control. So I'm going to use the Deoxid D5 on these, and I'll use the D5, F5 here, D5 up on these. We'll see what happens, and uh, we'll bring it back after I've totally embalmed <laughs> the controls. Okay, so a little bit of cleaner on here. Controls still aren't right. I'm gonna have to dig in deeper on this. That's the volume all the way up. So, I believe the problem is in these switches. It's gonna probably gonna have to take this completely apart. Um, FM 
is next to nothing. Not sure what that is, but again, it's going to be a complete tear down. I did find the problem with this speaker. It was a broken wire. Uh, the speaker is now working uh, not right. You can hear, it sounds like capacitors are bad here and here. All right. It can still protect you. Um, Virgil will help you convert your IRA or 401 k and see it, but the machine keeps track of oh, the name sorry about and, that. and the ballot number that was attached to that name. All right. So with that, I'm going to... I'm going to end this for now. Um, as soon as I can get back into it and start tearing it apart, I'll bring you guys back in. Okay, so where are we? Now, uh, let's see. First of all, I had gotten this speaker to partially work. This wire was broken off. Okay, not a problem. Resoldered that. For whatever reason, it stopped working. I have AM and FM both working. Um, the FM, yeah, let's see if I can zoom you in over here. Right here, this little wire here coming off of the antenna was broken. So, I resoldered that, FM came back on. Actually came on, it didn't come back on, it just came on. Okay, took care of that. And I started having problems with this speaker again, not, not working. And that's what's been frustrating me. Um, I think the gentleman that I bought this from on eBay um, was a little annoyed because I was the only bidder on it and I paid an extremely low cost for this radio, like next to nothing. Um, nobody else bid on it. I actually found this washer, it's a, it's a washer, it doesn't belong in there, was jammed down into the volume controls, okay? Shorting things out, uh, but that still didn't cure the lack of volume on this on this speaker okay uh, so using using my little I use this one because it's it's handy I've got this little micronta yeah I moved the battery terminal to the outside so I don't have to worry about it leaking I can pop the battery off when I want okay um, I use this to do a little signal tracing and I found that right here, uh, let's see if I zoom in a little bit. Okay. Right here, there's a little um, VR, and I've got, I've got signal on this side. I've got no signal over here. Well, close examination, it's broken. <laughs> um, I don't see how that would break unless it was done intentionally, but it is broken. So I'm going to have to source a new part for this. Um, that'll be it for today. Um, stay tuned as I, as I work through this and get it working. There is another one on this side. Okay. And this up here. So if I jump, if I put a jumper across here, um, it works. But again, this is stereo, so it's got to be set up properly. Uh, I'm going to have to work on that. I've got the, uh, the instructions on what to do with it. But first, I need to source this part. So that being said, guys... And gals, this is going to be it for today. Uh, stay tuned for more to come. Click like, you know what you're supposed to do down below. Click like, subscribe, 
and leave a comment. And uh, let me know if you've ever had a problem like this, uh, sabotage in a radio. Take care and see you soon. Okay, so I'm not done. Uh, what happened was I found a another VR, a uh, little trimmer resistor, a 5K, uh, 5,000 ohm trimmer resistor. Um, not exactly the same as the other one, but it works. Okay, it's a 5K uh, variable. Sorry about that. It's a 5K variable resistor. Uh, what this is, it's a separation between between the two <laughs> between the two speakers. So I got that in. I got it working. I checked the separation. We're getting equal um, output on both channels. Okay, which is good. Let me back this up a little bit here. And I will turn the radio around because I'm done. I will fold all of this up. Again, this is... Uh, I see something I'm not done with, but okay. Pretty much done here. I have reattached these. There was no aluminum plate here that was missing. These I had to glue back on. So that's all taken care of. AM radio works fine. Uh, Got to have the antenna up. Here, let me get you some antenna. I'm Very sensitive radio, very selective. Get a lot of channels. El Salon, Mexico. Marquez's Danzon, November 7th to 10th. That's public radio, national public radio, NPR. Uh, 88.3 here in the New York metropolitan area. Um, it does have a stereo indicator. So when you, yep, you can't see that. That's. Cute. Okay. So it's got the button you push for stereo. You can see it. When you're right on the channel, it'll stay lit um, as long as you have the button pushed down. That's it. I cleaned it up, did a little cleaning on the exterior, and radio is done. It's working great. What do Louis Armstrong and Professor Longhair share with James Moody and Sarah Vaughn? I can't stay too long on any one channel because I'll get a copyright. Back to AM. This radio sounds really good. With Bloomberg News Now, I made Kalegi. This is Bloomberg. Tuesday night. Again, I'm in I'm in a basement of an aluminum sided house, so getting signals down here sometimes is a little difficult. But you can hear the radio's working great. I want to thank all you guys for uh, watching this video and hope you subscribe. Thanks a lot. Do appreciate it.